like and subscribe please like we just hit 162 subscribers now we were just at like 149 yesterday which is actually really crazy because like the only video i dropped yesterday it didn't do so good with the views even though i'm gonna keep it going anyway because i just enjoyed the premise anyway please like and subscribe share it to your friends I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers within the next six months I feel like we can do it because we're almost at 200 and I've only had this channel for about two months, two and a half at most. Like I posted my first video two months ago and we're already near 200. So let's get straight into it. We start off with Gon getting out of his bed, reflecting on the night beforehand. He gets dressed and leaves the house. Inside his pocket is a flyer. A flyer of the Phantom Troop, the wanted members, because of the stunt they pulled at the auction, killing all of the guests. Unbeknownst to Gon, Kilua is following behind him. Kilua being an assassin, he doesn't sleep. He sleeps very lightly, so he can, he can tell Gon leaving at night and slipping away when they're not noticing. So he decides to follow Gon this time. This is when Gon just continues watching them with, with Nobunaga making the same remark about an incredibly skilled Nen user following them using Zetsu. He almost didn't feel his presence, but he could feel something was off. Whoever was with him wasn't as skilled as him, but were skilled in their own right, this being Kilua. Right before Gon's about to make his next move, leaping just between buildings, he feels the presence behind him. He sees Kilua. When they make eye contact, Kilua's about to shout something, but Gon quickly runs over, covering his mouth as quickly and quietly as he can. He puts his finger over his mouth, telling him to be quiet. Gon can't let Kilua go back alone right now, because he knows that Finks and the others similar to in his original timeline, we're following behind them. So he tells Kilua to follow him, and that he'll explain when they get out of this. When they arrive near one of the buildings, watching the Phantom Troop, they actually make a different route than inside the original, making more erratic movements, making them harder to track. When Gon thinks that he's shucking off the pursuing Phantom Troop members, he finds, he tells Kilua to stay here, that he's hunting after a phantom troop. Kilua's heard this name before. The people who killed the Kurdic clan that Karapika is part of. But Gon says he can't, he can't explain too much because they're actually being tailed as well as following members themselves. Karapika, I mean not Karapika, Kilua quickly Kilua quickly catches on and begins putting all of his all his effort into hiding his presence. But this is a little bit too late. Behind behind the two of them, Gon feels them. Thinks and the other Pakanoda. As well as the other members. Has already caught up to them. And they're very close to being found out. So Gon grabs. So Gon grabs Kilua and hides. Hides inside the room that they're in. They're not inside the original room, which was empty. They actually hide inside the closet. With the Phantom Troop themselves not being too invested inside the search. Just checking room from room. And making their way out. Gon sees them all and realizes that this isn't the best situation and decides to retreat. This is when Kilua makes a fatal mistake. At that moment, when he felt that they were safe, he accidentally let off the slightest bit of his presence. This is an amateur move for him, and he realizes it. And just, just as the presence releases itself, he swallows it back up as quickly as possible. But... But with, hun with talented members like the Phantom Troop are, they were able to 
catch onto this incredibly quickly and bust through the wall, staring down Gon and Kilua, who just made their way out the closet. Upon seeing this, Gon realizes just how fucked they are. He's confident that he'll be able to escape alone, but with Kilua, he's not so sure. Even if Kilua uses God's speed, he might still get caught in their trap. Because he's not as adept in fighting Nen users as Gon is. As well as as adept with Nen itself, exper as experience. This is when Gon makes a bold move. When Gon started, starts asking questions, starts being asked questions, he tells the truth. Instead of lying to them, he goes with the Phantom Troop. And he takes Kilua with him because he doesn't want to, because he doesn't want Kilua out of his sight. Because he may very well be killed by the troop members. They take him, they take Kilua and Gon in alive. Pakunoda doesn't use her ability on Gon. And she doesn't use it on Gon because he already admitted to it. And if you if if you remember inside the original, Krollo actually gave the order for them to be captured alive, anybody with information information pertaining to the chain user, aka Karapika. When they arrive in the base, Phaeton instantly Instantly goes into torture Gon and Kilua. However, he's stopped by Nobunaga, asking him to settle down. Not a demand, but asking, because he wants to have he wants to see Gon's strength, and they have the same arm wrestling bout as in the original, but with Gon, with Gon not even trying. He he, on purpose, he seals most of his men. Allowing himself to be hurt by this arm wrestling. And they continue, they keep it going for a while. And the Phantom Troop just watching Goniki Lu inside the corner. Going, thinking of an escape plan. Neither of them has revealed their Hatsu. So they don't know what the, so the Phantom Troop doesn't know what they expect. Upon getting an order for Krolo, half the troop leaves. A little more than half. Only Nobunaga and Franklin being left behind. Not Nobunaga by himself. Although they're confident in Nobunaga's abilities, they don't know Gon and Kilua's abilities just yet. As soon as the troop members get within, get a sizable distance away, this is when Gon releases his men. And this causes both Franklin and Nobunaga to get on guard. Because this child is incredibly strong Franklin starts firing his Nen bullets with Gon just tanking these attacks because he's a natural enhancer and Kilua going into god speed when Nobunaga tries to use use his sword to stop Gon Gon just enhances his foot with a with some KO and shatters his sword and they both escape being pursued by Nobunaga and Franklin However, as soon as they get out without as soon as they get out of their line of sight, they use Zetsu. And being how skilled they are at Zetsu at this point, they aren't able to be followed. And that's the end of this part. Like and subscribe. I just wanted to give you guys this part. I didn't go too in in depth because like I was working on another one and I'm kinda tired right now. So I'm just gonna drop this to keep you guys' appetites wet. And please Watch the video, like it, share and subscribe. Thank you for your support from the bottom of my heart. Black Swordsman out. I'm out of here. Slime.